Hi, thanks for joining me today. I'm Amanda of Inspiring in Kim. Welcome to my craft room. In today's video, we're going to be using a special stamp set called Beautiful Peacock. It's a celebration stamp set, uh, 2018. And that means from the beginning of January to the end of March, if you spend 45 pounds, you can choose one of the celebration level one items for free. So this is actually free with the purchase of £45. Now this is a fabulous set, it's photopolymer and I am going to show you a few hints and tips of getting all of your images lined up. So let's get started. This is the stamp set that we're using today, Beautiful Peacock. It has 12 different stamps, lots of lovely images. I particularly like these tiny flower images. Um, which are great for embellishing all sorts of projects. You have the peacock and the peacock tail here, and then these are additional tail feathers as well. So let me show you the card. I'm using what I consider to be all kind of peacock colours. So I've got Island Indigo and Bermuda Bay. And then here we've got Rich Razzleberry and Old Olive. So you can actually see with all of the ink pads all together, these are really what I would say are sort of traditional peacock colours. So let's get started with the stamping. I've got a variety of acrylic blocks here. Uh, so let's put the tail stamp on there. Peacock body, peacock tail, and the words. Right, so this is a photopolymer stamp set, so we're definitely going to be needing to use the stamping mat. Uh, photopolymer stamps don't have any cushioning in them. So it's really important that you use some kind of surface with give. So the stamping pierce mat is wonderful for that. If you don't have one of those, um, there are links to my online store so you can uh, go through to there and purchase one if you'd like. Um, but you can use um, a mouse mat, reverse of a mouse mat, or even um, in a pinch, a, a magazine, something like that. Something with a little bit of give. And let's get the Whisper White card. So this is my smallest layer. Yeah, so that's that one. And get the ink pads opened up. Now, just um, as a, a hint and a tip, for, for me, I always stamp this piece first and then put the peacock body over the top. I have tried it the other way around and I wasn't as successful lining it up. So for me, I'm going to do this piece first, which I'm stamping in Bermuda Bay. dust on there. Now with photopolymer, with, with all stamps, lots and lots of light tapping and you can actually see that you've got full coverage there. And I'm going to stamp it and stamp it and just hold it, just give the ink the opportunity to transfer onto the card. There we go. And then I'm going to stamp the peacock body in Island Indigo and let's see I'm going to line that up checking I've got the head and the tail there we go there okay now I think it's really important that you ground creatures. Um, you can see here, I've actually put some, some floor in there. Um, I just don't like to see um, 
things kind of hanging in midair. So I've got an aqua painter, which is basically a paintbrush uh, with water in it. Um, I've said before, I'm a messy crafter and I don't like having open bottle, or open um, pots of water or things on my desk because I waft my arms about and, and knock them over. So these aqua painters are fabulous because the water's contained. And I'm just going to go over and just give him a bit of ground, give him something to stand on. Now I'm going to use the Rich Razzleberry and this lovely Flourish. And I'm actually going to stamp it three times. So, there's one. Make him have a really full tail. Three. And whilst I've got this stamp out, I'm just going to stamp on the, the inside like I've done here. I always put an insert in. It gives the card a bit more weight, um, allows you to um, it stand up easier, um, but also it allows you to write on a really nice white piece of, of card. So I'm going to stamp one flourish there. just there and then we're going to use this teeny tiny flower stamp and old olive so I'm just going to put three flowers here and then here on the peacock I'm going to put them over the top on his tail just as a little bit of added embellishment I'm going to skip this one here where his beak is because um, I don't want to hide his beak and then I'll just put a few more here Oh, odd numbers, you need odd numbers. So seven little flowers. And then there's just one more bit of stamping, which is the greeting. And the greeting says, today is all about you. Which I think it's a really lovely sentiment for all sorts of occasions. And I'm going to stamp it quite close to this edge left hand edge and what I'm going to do if I bring in the original card is I'm going to trim this using scissors so I want it to be about that long and the best way to make this flag end is to cut down the center and then go from the edge to that center piece and from the edge to that center piece now bring in the card front and just see. Yeah, that's that's a nice size. So what I'm going to do now is layer it on top of the silver. And then I can actually cut the flag ends to match it. So if I cut to the centre again. And then there. And there. Now I've actually... Here's, here's how to adjust things when you cut them slightly wrong. Can you see <laughs> this piece is nice and even and then this piece isn't quite so even. So I'm just going to trim a little bit off there. There we go. And it's evened itself up. Okay, so that's all the stamping done. Let's move the ink pads out of the way. All I've got to do is assemble the card. So I'm going to put the greeting on the silver first, give that a minute or so to, to um, stick. My Tombow is obviously coming to the end of its life. Needs a shake. There we go. Pop that down. 
and then so this stamped layer goes on top of the Bermuda Bay layer and then the Bermuda Bay layer goes onto the Island Indigo layer Side goes in, then we've just got the greeting to put on. I'm just going to use my fingers and just curve this up a bit to give it a bit of movement, and I'm going to put one dimensional on the flag end. And then a little bit of Tombow on this end. And then we're going to line it up against this white edge here. I'm just going to move it down a little bit so I don't get lose all of the tail. And there we go. There is your finished card. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed the project using the Beautiful Peacock stamp set. Remember, the Beautiful Peacock stamp set can't actually be purchased. You can have it free with a £45 order or more. If you click on the See More button, if you're on YouTube, you'll be able to see all the links to my online store and all of the items that I've used today. If you're on my blog, just scroll down and you'll be able to see all the links there too. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you for joining me. Goodbye.